DNA tests are really popular these days. For a simple amount of money and a send-away test, you can find out your DNA breakdown, if you're from Europe or Asia or Africa, or if you're a dog, perhaps yes. not. <laughs> well, that's that's why I do DNA testing. To I'm, find out if you're a dog. I'm, I'm curious whether I'm a dog or a wookie. Well, you should not sign up for Origin Good to know. with a three because according to a test uh, that NBC Chicago put them through, they could not tell the difference between a human's DNA and a dog's DNA. Which I think would be the simplest thing to find out from a DNA test so, or a photo <laughs> test. <laughs> so what happened is they did an investigation mm -hmm. where they sent away DNA to a bunch of different companies and they sent human DNA and dog DNA and most of the companies got back to them by saying they can't recognize what this is mm -hmm. because it's not the same species. It's not human. I mean, dogs do have similar-ish mm -hmm. DNA to people, but it's not the same. I mean, just a few differences could mean a lot. Um, so, but except Origin failed to note that Bailey, which was the golden retriever whose DNA they sent mm -hmm. them via saliva, which they probably gathered in a really cute way, they said uh, they didn't know. They actually sent this response. After we submitted the $29 test, the company sent a seven page report saying that her muscle force would probably be great for quick movements like boxing and basketball. And she has the cardiac output for long endurance bike rides or runs. AKA, she can be the new Air Bud. Woo. This is enough evidence. No, it's not. But I, dogs like to run and, they do. and be athletic. And, and great and basketball. Be good We've girls. We've seen that movie. I, I think the, the, the biggest, <laughs> maybe indicator here that something was wrong was that this test was only $29 because if you do some research into some of these other DNA products and DNA testing, they're a lot more expensive. So if you're going for the $29 DNA test, I might say that maybe you're getting what you paid for. You should have some reasonable expectation for them to, to deliver what they promise. Oh, sure. Unless they specifically sit in the rules that uh, we don't say if you're a dog or not. Just like how the rules at Airbud didn't say if a dog could play basketball or not. That's right. <laughs> get, get your rules straight in your head, referees. Okay. Um, so I would say, Buyer beware if you are doing this kind of thing, or if you have a lot of money, why not trick people into testing dog DNA? Have you had your DNA tested? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.